true believers in a golden promise. This is the best opportunity that exists in the world, period. A dream of wealth they buy into with all their hearts. I will love you, man. I will love you, man. But a year-long Dateline investigation found a disturbing reality. We're destitute. Behind the dream. This was the dirty little secret of Quickstar. Absolutely. What will our hidden cameras reveal? That's what you said, not what I said. Did I say it? Chris Hansen with a Dateline hidden camera investigation. This may look like an old-fashioned revival meeting, packed with the faithful. But this crowd is worshipping the almighty dollar. Tonight, the inside story of the business behind these elaborate events that attract hundreds of thousands of people every year. But the promise of easy money, selling products like vitamins, cosmetics, and home appliances. Dateline's year-long investigation found a long trail of false promises and broken dreams. Here's Chris Hansen with the Dateline Hidden Camera Investigation. Out of the darkness of a crowded coliseum, a rally cry. Thousands of true believers gathered in celebration at arenas like this across the country, all convinced they found the true path to success, wealth beyond their wildest dreams. This is the best opportunity that exists! In the world! Period! 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 It's not second! It's not third! It's number one! The promises are golden. You can have a wonderful life, make millions and millions and millions of dollars, but it must start with a dream. And dream they do of luxury homes, fancy cars, yachts, and private planes. So who are all these people, and what are they so worked up about? The people on stage are distributors for a company called Quickstar, which says it's had $3 billion in sales since 1999. They say the company's special formula for success has made them rich. But their main purpose here is to tell all these thousands of other distributors that they can do it too. All they have to do is sell everything from the company's own line of vitamins and cosmetics to name brand appliances and electronics. For that, they'll get a percentage of the sales. And if they recruit a ton of other people to do the same, they'll get a percentage of the orders placed by everyone they recruit. The more people they recruit, the richer they can get. And richer and richer and richer. You can do it. So why not go for it? Sound too good to be true? We thought it did. In fact, it sounded a lot like another company that made news several years back, Amway. A hugely successful business that came under government scrutiny was fined in order to stop making unrealistic promises about income to its distributors. To find out what Quickstar was up to, we took our hidden cameras to a recruitment meeting in New Jersey, where hundreds held around the country each week and where hundreds of thousands of Quickstar faithful get their start. And the first thing we hear is how easy it is to make it in Quickstar. If you're somewhat serious, oh, I mean by somewhat serious, if you invest maybe say 10 to 15 hours a week in your business, mm -hmm. this is your own business, you could generate the next 12 to 18 months and it's pretty much. I'm sorry, how much? Quarter million. You're making um, yeah. more than 250, quarter of a million? The recruiter, Greg Fredericks, sure gets our attention. He says he himself has made it big on the Quickstar plan. I owe nobody nothing. You know, and today, you know, I'm looking at a million dollar home, a thousand dollar Rolex just for kicks, and I just got a brand new Lincoln Navigator sitting out front paid for cash. So, things are good. And he says those kinds of riches are ours for the taking. And on top of getting rich, we'd also be able to make our own hours and spend more time with our family. So at another meeting, after paying $200 for a starter kit, we sign up and are officially introduced to the Fredericks team. First step, think positive. So I don't put anything into my head. 
that's going to cause me to be thinking outside my positive world. That means no TV, no reading newspaper. Second step, and perhaps the most important, we're told to buy motivational books and tapes from top Quickstar distributors. Reading, I would recommend you start reading to 15 minutes to about a half hour. Ago. Those books and tapes are going to cost us, but one of Frederick's associates says they hold the key to our success. You listen, just keep listening to them over and over again. But it's not just buying the books and tapes, which can go for about $60 a month. We're also urged to spend money on seminars for about another $50 a month. And within days of becoming Quickstar distributors, we're told of one big event we shouldn't miss. This will be the One, two, three. A few hundred dollars later, we find ourselves on a bus ride, a 14-hour bus ride from New Jersey to South Carolina something called Spring Leadership Weekend. To Fredericks and others, it's not just a business trip, it's a pilgrimage. Well, we ask you for a spirit of openness so that we might go down to Greenville, South Carolina, Lord, we, that we might be changed. And in Jesus' mighty name, we say, Amen. Let's have a great weekend. At the arena in South Carolina, people have been sleeping outside like teenagers at a rock concert. We arrive the next day, it's not long before the crowd swells. We're part of a fevered rush to get inside. 15,000 pack the arena as we thrill to a carefully choreographed show that promises money and everything that comes with it. We're urged by those successful Quickstar distributors on stage to dream big like they do. We've got four homes and 32 cars and we got all that stuff. What, what, what do we do now? And we're just saying, let's buy a country. <laughs> the excitement builds with each success story. This man says he once ran a car wash. His vision of financial freedom moves the crowd to a chant we hear over and over again. The speakers are treated like superstars, all living testaments to what happens when you follow the Quickstar plan. But there's one who's become an icon. If Quickstar is a religion, this man is its pope. His name is Bill Britt, and legend has it he's worth millions, all because of Quickstar. I got a list of this for five reasons. Good reasons. First one was money. The second reason I got in was for money. <laughs> that, that's my whole time. <laughs> So devoted are the followers, many in the crowd with us become sleep deprived, afraid to miss out on advice that will make them millionaires. Such devotion is hard to fathom, but we see just how far it goes on the last night of the weekend when a single candle is lit. Soon the dark arena becomes a tabernacle, a shrine to the quick star dream. For some, a solemn and tearful promise to their leader. But are the leaders keeping their promises to the faithful? What the thousands lighting candles in this arena don't realize is that 99.9% .9 of them will not only never get rich from Quickstar, won't even come close. In your opinion, what is it? I would use the word scam. When we return, what's really going on behind the promises of financial windfalls, fabulous mansions, and fancy cars? It's hurt us. It's hurt a lot of people. The dark secret that left some distributors in desperate trouble. Returning to our story, the pitch for a company called Quickstar has attracted hundreds of thousands of followers with stories of financial success, beautiful homes, expensive cars, the good life. All you have to do, they say, is buy and sell the company's products. 
But Dateline's investigation found there's something they don't tell you. Once again, Chris Hansen. The freedom to flush that stinking job. That's the promise. And that's exactly what Eric Scheibler did. I thought if I could create a six-figure income uh, and spend time with my family, I'd do anything for that. For Scheibler, years. at the time a federal auditor, had heard the stories and seen the videos. You know, we get up in the morning as we wish. Don't get up to the alarm clock very often. Um, that's uh, something we sort of gave up and we got rid of the job. Scheibler signed up, and after a few years working part-time in the business, ceremoniously shot his own alarm clock. He triumphantly quit his day job, and with a limo waiting, it was party time. As he walked into the welcoming arms of his family and friends in the business. Goodbye, boss. Hello, family. That's right. Exactly. It seemed to be the American dream. What does that cost? Probably about $120. But instead of a life of leisure and more time with his family, he says he worked day and night, buying the tapes, attending the rallies. Still, he made nowhere near the six-figure salary he thought he would. In fact, in his best year, he made $34,000, and even that didn't last. What do you have today? Uh, we're destitute, financially. It's uh, We'll change that, but financially we have nothing as a specific result of this. We heard it again and again. People who worked the quick start plan only to suffer in the end. It's hurt us. It's hurt a lot of people. Vicki and Lindy Max say they not only didn't make money, they lost more than $35,000 over a five year period. Much of it on books, tapes, and traveling to rallies. That, by the way, is like a year at Harvard. No kidding. I know that. We know that. So why, despite the promises, did the Max and thousands of others end up on the losing end of the quick star dream? This man says it's because it's based on a lie, and he should know. His name is Bo Short, and for a time he was selling the dream himself as one of quick star's brightest stars. I will tell you this, I do not want you to leave excited. I want you to leave committed. But he says he began to realize he was part of a mass deception. You see these videos of these attractive couples driving Porsches and Ferraris. Panoramic shots of palatial mansions. Right. Is that actually achievable by selling Quickstar products? Based on my experiences, no. How are these people getting all this stuff then? There is another business. And it's a business that is completely separate from Quickstar. A hidden business that most recruits don't realize exists. Short says many of those high-level distributors singing the praises of Quickstar on stage are actually making most of their money by selling motivational books, tapes, and seminars. Not Quickstar's cosmetics, soaps, and electronics. This was the dirty little secret. That's exactly what it was. Absolutely. That's not what you hear at the convention. No, and that's not what you're told in somebody's living room when you see it either. In fact, about 20 high-level distributors are part of an exclusive club, one that those hundreds of thousands of other distributors don't get to join. For years, only a privileged few, including Bill Britt, have run hugely profitable businesses, selling all those books, tapes, and seminars, things the rank-and-file distributors can't sell themselves, are told over and over again they need to buy in order to succeed. Anything you need to become successful, you have at your disposal. All you have to be willing to do for a nominal fee is to start purchasing the materials that will help you to build your business. Why are the recruits told to listen to the tapes and read the books over and over and over again? Because it creates a dependency and it creates a habit that keeps you bound to that business. Vicki Mack knows all about that. Even though she's a medical doctor, a pediatrician with a thriving practice, she found herself slaving away in the pursuit of new quick star recruits. After all, new recruits mean new sales, and new sales mean more money. We'd be out just even hanging out at McDonald's, at the play places, talking to parents. At McDonald's? Yeah. Now, 
you graduated from Berkeley, mm -hmm. went to medical school, mm -hmm. making a very fine salary as a pediatrician, yeah. and yet you're in a mall and a McDonald's on a Saturday trying to sell this thing? Yeah. None of this surprises Bo Short. Not the commitment of time and money, not the emotion, as we saw at the rally we attended. There's a man with tears. There are probably many people with tears. And not all of those tears are because they're committed to it. Many of those tears are because they, they have worked diligently and are not any closer. If this is not a legitimate business opportunity, then in reality, in your opinion, what is it? I would use the word scam. That's what I was thinking too. Bo Short says when he and several other high-level distributors began to suspect the same thing, they confronted the company's managing director, Ken McDonald. And I said, Ken, I believe that people are stealing money and you're letting it happen. And he didn't respond. And I, and I remember looking at him a few minutes later, I said, Ken, kick some of them out. Show people you're serious. And he looked at me and said, what would happen to the business? Short says the company acknowledged it had been aware of the problem for decades. How could that be? Remember when we said Quickstar sounded a little like Amway, a company which drew the ire of the federal government several years back for making false promises to recruits? Well, it turns out Quickstar isn't just like Amway, it was Amway. Quickstar is just its new incarnation with many of the same players. Eric Scheidler and the Max began as Amway distributors. And many of those same high-level Quickstar distributors also began with Amway. So did Bo Short, who says he decided to walk away from the business and all the money that came with it. You were a poster boy for this outfit. You were on the company yacht. Are you now turning around and biting the hand that fed you? I don't care if anyone thinks I'm biting anyone's hand that fed me. I'm telling the truth. Quickstar declined to be interviewed on camera, but its managing director, Ken McDonald, says in a letter that Short's recollection of events is misleading, and he questioned Short's motivation for speaking out. Short does run a small direct marketing firm himself, and Quickstar considers him a potential competitor. Quickstar also says it prohibits its independent distributors from making exaggerated claims about income. As for the company's income, most of that comes from the sale of products, not from tapes and books and tickets to rallies. In its contracts, the company discloses that some distributors do make money from those sales, but that buying those materials is strictly voluntary. As for Bill Britt and some of the other top-level distributors we saw on stage, they also declined our request for an on-camera interview. But their lawyer told us in a letter that the income claims we heard are not promoted or endorsed by Brit and those other top distributors. He also wrote that buying the books and tapes is voluntary and that how much they make from those sales is not available. So how much does a Quickstar distributor really make? Well, only about $1,400 per year. What's the source for that figure? It's Quickstar itself. You can find it in the fine print of the company's own registration materials. $1,400. That's $248,600 less than what our recruiter, Greg Fredericks, said we could make. We caught up with him at one of his recruitment meetings. We're doing a story on Quickstar and Quickstar Distributors. Okay. And these folks here work with me. Oh, great. We wanted to ask you a couple questions. Sure. Hey, I just want to make sure I heard you right now. First, we reminded him about the money he said we could make. You're making um, more than 250 quarter of a million? Are you really making? How about disclosing that? A quarter of a million dollars. I don't working nearly 15 to 16 hours a week. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to disclose you my information as far as my personal income. But what he did let slip when he didn't know the camera was rolling was that one of the elite distributors we saw on stage is making most of his money from the motivation business. Probably three quarters of it. And that's from seminar, holding seminars? Seminars, rallies, functions, motivational tools, tapes, books, 
speaking engagements, appearances. But he didn't seem to remember saying that. I don't know. From what I have in the books, that I don't know. You're mentioning a number here, three quarters of what his income is. That's what you said, not what I said. Did I say that? And that's about all he had to say. Later, we found out something else about Fredericks. Back in the mid-90s, he was arrested and charged with possession of crack cocaine and is still wanted by police to face charges in North Carolina. What about others involved in Quickstar? Both the FBI and the criminal division of the IRS are making separate inquiries into at least two top distributors not focused on in this report. In the meantime, hundreds of thousands of true believers are drawn into Quickstar every year, dazzled by the promise of the good life. But unless things change, says Bo Short, it's a broken promise that will leave broken hearts. I think people are being hurt. Because understand, the majority of the people in that audience believe or desperately, desperately want to believe. And they sit there with their hearts in it. What about them? Some former high-level distributors have filed a lawsuit against Quickstar in federal court, accusing the company of antitrust violations and conspiracy. Quickstar disputes the allegations and says it hopes the matter will be resolved through arbitration. For more on this story, log on to our website. The address is dateline.msnbc.com.